I want you to bite my lip until I can no longer speak. <laughs> Damn. I'm <laughs> good. And then suck my ex-girlfriend's name out of my mouth just to make sure that she never comes up in our conversation. Woo! <laughs> I want you to come to me. Come to me like an afternoon. Come to me slow. As if you were a broken sunset with a lazy sky on your shoulders. If you let me be a sunlight, I promise that I will penetrate your darkness until you speak in angel ways. Pull me close to you. Tell me that you love me. And then scratch your future into my back so I can be everything that you live for. I promise. I promise that I will die for you daily and then resurrect in your screams. I promise that I will love you. I will love you as if it's the only thing that I've ever done correctly. See, the first time you said hello, butterflies the size of pterodactyls slapped their wings against the corridors of my stomach. See, that day, Cupid, he didn't have an arrow large enough to hold a love this size, so he just hijacked a plane and flew it into my chest. Woo! I'm gonna be honest, yeah, I'm, I'm usually not a love poet. <laughs> right. In fact, every time I try to write about love, my hands cramp. <laughs> just to show me how painful love can be. Mm. Sometimes my pencils break. Just to prove to me that every now and then love takes a little more work than you planned. See, I heard that love is blind. So, I write all my poems in Braille. <laughs> <laughs> my poems. See, my poems are never actually finished because true love is endless. See, I've always believed that real love is kind of like a supermodel before she's airbrushed. <laughs> it's pure. <laughs> and imperfect. Just the way that God intended. Mm. See, I'm gonna be honest. See, I, I'm not much of a love poet. But if I was to wake up tomorrow morning and decide that I really wanted to write about love, I swear that, you see, my first poem, it would be about you. About how I love you the same way that I learned how to ride a bike. Scared. <laughs> but reckless. <laughs> With no train wheels or elbow pads so my scars can tell the story of how I fell for you. Ooh. You see, I, I'm not much of a love poet. Uh, but if I was, I'd write about how I see your face in every cloud and reflection in every window. You see, I've written like a million poems, hoping that somehow, maybe some way, you'll jump out of the page and be closer to me. Because if you were here right now, I would massage your back until your skin sings songs that your lips don't even know the words to. <laughs> Until your heartbeat, until your heartbeat sounds like my last name and you smile like the Pacific Ocean. I want to drink the sunlight in your skin. <laughs> Yo, if I was a love poet, yeah. I'd write about how you have the audacity to be beautiful, even on days when everything around you is ugly. Mm. See, I'd write about your eyelashes and how they're like violin strings to play symphonies every time you blink. If I was a love poet, I'd write about how I melt in front of you like an ice sculpture every time I hear the vibration in your voice. And whenever I see your name on the caller ID, my heart, it plays hopscotch inside of my chest. Yo, it climbs, it climbs onto my ribs like monkey bars and I feel like a child all over again. Woo! And I know this sounds strange. Uh, but every now and then I pray that God somehow turns you back into one of my ribs just so I would never have to spend an entire day without you. Aww. And I swear. <laughs> not, not a love poet. But if I was, in my first poem, uh, it would be about you. And after all of that, she was like, so how do you feel about me? <laughs> and I was like, put it like this. I want to be your ex-boyfriend's stuntman. I want to do everything that he never had the courage to do, like, like trust you. Mm. I swear. 
that when our lips touch, I can taste the next 60 years of my life. Mm. And some days, I want to swallow stacks of your pictures just so you can be a part of me for a little bit longer. If I could, I would sample your smile and then I would let my heart beat do the bass line and we would create the greatest love song of all time whenever we stand next to each other. Love, I was the only one made for you and you can be at last by Etta James. I'll be, oh, child, when you're in pain or you can be candy coated and drops of rain even though it never rains in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> Together. And we can be music. So when my friends ask if you're my girlfriend, I'll say no. Yo, she is my musician. Mm. And me, yeah, I guess you could say, I'm her favorite song. <laughs>